Welcome back to another Infinite Flight tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to use SimBrief, a powerful and free to use online flight planning tool that allows you to generate detailed flight briefings and aircraft performance data. With the simple tap of a button, you can populate your filed route, weight and balance, and altitudes directly into Infinite Flight. Let's begin by heading to simbrief.com. You can type this into your browser or access it through your Infinite Flight account settings by tapping your profile, the settings icon, then selecting Navigraph. Here, you can jump straight to the Navigraph SimBrief site to create a new account, sign into an existing one, unlink that account, or start building your next flight. Once linked, we'll find ourselves on the SimBrief dashboard where we can see flight history, prepared flights, or create a new flight. Having a prepared flight saved means that you can pre-plan on another device or computer, then have your next trip queued up when you're ready to launch Infinite Flight. From the dashboard, we'll select Create New Flight and explore the basics of SimBrief flight planning. We'll start by inputting our departure and arrival airport. Based on your arrival airport, alternate will be selected, though you can put in one of your choosing if you wish. Next, we'll select our aircraft type. SimBrief features nearly every aircraft in the Infinite Flight fleet. We've selected the Boeing 777-300 for this trip to London. Once selected, it will generate performance and weight and balance data for that specific aircraft. For example, down below we can see our climb profile dictates we'll climb below 10,000 feet at 250 knots, 310 knots to cruise, and Mach 0.84 at cruise. Lastly, we'll scroll down and make any final entries and review the flight plan. Here's where you can select your arrival runway, specific passenger payload amounts, and cruising altitude. This will be generated automatically if left alone. For this flight, we'll plan a 2-7 right arrival into Heathrow, so we'll make that small adjustment. Finally, we'll scroll down and see the generated SimBrief route. We can keep this or explore alternate routes both from SimBrief and real-world flights. Now that we're ready to go, scroll back to the top and select Generate Flight. After selecting Generate Flight, SimBrief will compile your entries and present you with a complete pilot briefing including route, step climbs, performance, weather, fuel, alternate, and a whole lot more. Be sure to take the time to explore the various tabs such as takeoff and landing to calculate specific performance figures, or download the entire brief as a PDF. With our briefing complete, let's head back to Infinite Flight and spawn into our departure airport with the specific aircraft that we chose on SimBrief. At the gate, we'll open our map by selecting the globe icon, tap the double arrow, then select Load from SimBrief. Your filed SimBrief route will immediately populate into your flight plan to include SIDs, stars, top of climb, descent, and even step climb altitudes if applicable. Your aircraft's weight and balance will also automatically reconfigure with the correct amounts. To proceed, select OK and review your flight. We'll start by double checking our weight and balance, adding a little extra fuel if needed. This is a great idea of flying into a busier airspace, especially during events. Next, let's take a look at our route. SimBrief will input any available SIDs and stars, however we will need to manually add our desired instrument approach by tapping the destination, procedures, then selecting from the available options. Next, let's talk altitudes. Here we can see our initial cruising altitude at the top of climb, or TOC, as 35,000 feet. Later in the flight we see 37,000 feet, a step climb as we burn fuel and become a bit lighter. If you wish to change this, select the flight plan line, select option, and either delete or amend that altitude. Note that choosing a different altitude, especially higher, may result in a fuel discrepancy so it might be wise to add a bit more fuel. Now for the fun part, let's fly. For more in-depth SimBrief help and guides, head to the user guide section of the SimBrief site. Pushback is approved and happy flying. We'll see you in the next one.